Yeah. All right. So we're gonna go until we find the first, uh, first good spot. spot for camping. Anybody need to stop again? Just say it. Yeah. The following tips will improve your ability to navigate in the dark. Whether you plan to go on a night hike with the family or infiltrate a secret location with other ninjas, you will be able to look at a bright light or the full moon and immediately afterwards see what's happening in the dark shadows on the ground. Before explaining the tips, I will describe the basic biology of how human vision works. Light enters your eyes through the cornea. The lens then focuses it on the retina, a light-sensitive layer of tissue at the back of the inner eyeball. The retina acts like the film in a camera, with the optic nerve sending the information to the brain. Cones provide color vision and require brighter light to function than rods, which provide black and white vision under dim light. Rods can be stimulated by as little as one photon of light. Rods and cones are distributed differently across the retina, with cones concentrated in the center of the visual field and rods in the peripheral areas. The human retina contains about 120 million rods and 6 million cones. The number and ratio of rods to cones varies among species, with night active animals having mostly rods. Rods contain the protein rhodopsin, which enables night vision. When exposed to bright light, rhodopsin immediately bleaches and night vision disappears. After bleaching, it takes approximately 20 to 30 minutes to regenerate rhodopsin. Okay, now on for the tips. That eye is now adapting to the dark and it takes about 20 minutes or more for this bright light on my face to, uh, so that we can see what the, after that bright light's turned off. But with this patch, you can see immediately. So we're walking around under a full moon and we can see okay under the full moon, but if we really want to see under the bright, uh, into the shadows, mm -hmm. we just lift the patch right up and you can immediately see in the dark. Oh, okay, cool. Embrace the way of the ninja. Stay low and view silhouettes. At night, we mostly see with rod cells, which are particularly sensitive to shapes, outlines, contours, and movement. Ninjas take advantage of this fact and get lower than the objects they are trying to see. This works because shapes and objects are backlit by light sources such as the moon and stars. Use your peripheral vision. Do not look directly at what you want to see, but rather look off-center. Uh, your peripheral vision is mostly composed of rods and they are sensitive to low levels of light. Your central vision is mostly composed of cones so if you really want to see something clearly in the dark, look in the peripheral areas around what you actually want to see. Keep your eyes moving. Do not stare at one object. Staring will cause your eyes to adapt to whatever light sources there are in the visual field. Blink frequently. This will keep your rod cells from desensitizing. If you don't want to lose your night vision, use dim red or green light. Red has been the traditional choice since before World War II when it was discovered that soldiers could see pretty well with dim red light. However, recently there's been a switch where green is, is very often preferred. Uh, the choice is not clear cut. It depends on the situation and, and the individual. Recognize that dim red or green light may not be enough in, in order for you to see the level of detail that you need to see. So in some situations, you may want to use white light. And if you choose to do that, again, what I like to do is cover one eye so that I have preserved dim light vision in one eye. 
Sustained bright sunlight can impair night vision for up to two days. Wear sunglasses whenever you are outdoors to avoid this cause of poor night vision. Neutral gray glasses like these with a UV resistant coating are often recommended. Some people wear red tinted glasses during the day for an hour or so before they go into dark areas. Every person and every situation is different, so talk with your eye doctor for specific recommendations. Have you noticed that deer become frozen stiff when your car's headlights blast them at night? This is because they're temporarily blinded and can't see you. You probably had the same experience happen to you when you're hiking with a buddy at night and he suddenly turns and all of a sudden you get blasted. The best thing to do is to turn your gaze to the side so that you can avoid a direct light or a, a close one eye quickly. Now, if you happen to have an eye patch on, then you automatically have one eye that is not night blind and you can continue to see easily in, in the dark. A quick and easy way to improve your night vision is to clean your glasses. This is something I forget to do all too often. Any dirt or streaks will cause reflections that make it difficult to see. And it also works on your car windshield. Use all of your senses to see. Walk slowly with a walking stick and your arms outstretched. Listen for sounds that may indicate obstacles and feel the surroundings with your entire body, your feet and your hands. Move your hands so you don't run into things like, like tree branches. All of this will create a visual field, a crude visual field, so you'll know where you are. You may want to, to look at some of the references down below on how blind people walk with walking sticks. And some people are able to use echolocation the way bats do to find their way around. All of this takes practice and it's, it's worth exploring if you want to do night hiking with minimal light. Okay, we're falling logs. Don't want to trip over that. Eat a balanced diet with plenty of veggies. Make sure that you get enough vitamin A and zinc. If you have diabetes, try to get it under control. People with diabetes are at a high risk for night vision problems. Over the years, high blood sugar is toxic to blood vessels and nerves in the eye, and this results in poor night vision. If you are a smoker, try to stop smoking. Uh, smokers are more likely to get uh, cataracts, optic nerve damage, uh, and macular degeneration. Some studies have shown that smokers are two times more prone to night accidents than non-smokers. The black of night gives most people fright, but me, I feel free in the black of night. In the black of night, most people lose their sight because they cannot see without their precious light in the black of night. Most people think the black of night is not right, but not me. The black of night is one of the most grandest sights. Every day I wait and wait, waiting to see that beautiful sight. Every day I wait and wait for the black of night. <laughs>